right, so um, welcome back everyone to the afternoon session. So it's my pleasure to introduce Tomiyuki, uh, who's going to give us a mini course on W algebras. Hello. Uh, so please feel free to ask uh, questions anytime. So, uh, so very roughly uh, speaking, uh, W algebras are certain uh, cousins of uh, affine cuts moody algebras and the Virasoro algebra. And uh, Naoki uh, already, as Naoki already uh, explained, uh, this uh, uh, introduced just by um, Zamorozhkov. Fatif Lukyanov in eighties in physics and uh, so this algebra uh, very much studies in late eighties and early nineties, but the definition was not so clear uh, to mathematicians. And uh, in mathematics, Fagin and Frankel uh, introduced they redefined uh, double algebras by using the method of uh, quantized during so-called reduction and which agree with um, a previous uh, definition um, given by physicists. And uh, also uh, cuts in the most general setting, uh, it was cuts Ruan Wakimoto who defined uh, double algebras. And uh, yes, so so what are the double algebras? So if if you have a simple Li algebra and uh, a nilpotent element, uh, you can define one parameter family of a, a vertex algebra called the double algebras. And uh, which only depends on the uh, conjugate sequence. Class of this nilpotent element, which is a, a conformal uh, if this level is not critical, where a check is critical. Ah, so, sorry, it's a dual coxal number. Of course, I will give definition of double algebra maybe tomorrow, but uh, let me uh, mention some of the properties. Um, so if you take a nilpotent element, 
by Jacobson Morozov theorem, you can find SL2 triple associated with uh, G, in, uh, uh, associated with F inside uh, G. So let's fix uh, this triple. Then uh, one of the uh, property is that the associated scheme of this uh, vertex algebra for any k is isomorphic to the affine space called the Srodo Israis. So Srodo Israis is defined to be the affine space F plus G E, where G E is the centralizer of E inside G. So the, it sits inside G, which I identified with G star. So this is, this is due to uh, the Zoll and cuts. And this isomorphism is isomorphism as a Poisson varieties. So I will explain the Poisson structure of this, I forgot to say this is called Slodois, right? I'll explain the uh, Poisson structure of this Srodo Israis later, but let me explain, uh, mention a consequ consequence of this uh, isomorphism. So, so this is equivalent to the fact that the Zuz sits algebra is isomorphic to the coordinate ring of this affine space. But because this is safely just a F plus GE, uh, one can, so this is just a polynomial ring. So you can identify it with uh, a symmetric algebra of centralizer of F by using the natural, <coughs> natural pairing. So, so this is just a polynomial ring. So if you find, if you fix a basis of the centralizer in G, then there is a, a strong, generate, strong generators, WI of WKG, uh, uh, which equals to the uh, which equals to UI a uh, mod F1 of W K F. So, so this describes uh, somewhat a leading term of uh, uh, generators of uh, affine double algebras. And uh, you can say uh, more about it. So G, we can decompose this into a direct sum of ad H eigenspaces. And, and following Naoki, I fix, uh, I normalize uh, eigenspaces as the eigenspace of eigenvalue 2J with respect to H, then uh, by SL2 representation theory, the cent so centralizer of F sits inside 
the uh, negative grading with respect to uh, this. So this has a decomposition uh, GJ if where GJ if is an intersection of GF with GJ. So you can assume that it is UI are homogeneous with respect to uh, this grading. So let's say minus di. Then you can describe conformal way of uh, this vector as uh, di plus one, which is uh, positive, but it's not integer. Yeah, sorry. This is half a grade, half integer grade. So, right. Because I normalize as t to j. So this <coughs> is positive, but in general, it, it's a half integer. So double uh, algebra is uh, half integer graded in general. But in sometimes uh, G graded, uh, if this nilpotent element is even, namely uh, there's in, so this index only integer appear, and which only happens when uh, G half equals to zero. But other, otherwise, the algebra is in general half integer graded. So another property uh, is that uh, you can also describe uh, a group of WK GF. So this is just uh, an infinite jet scheme or arc space of through this. As Poisson uh, varieties, I mean, as uh, vertex Poisson varieties, algebras. And also, you can describe Zeus algebra So this is a so-called premise finite double algebra. Which is a natural quantization of Srodo slice. So this was uh, proved by uh, myself for principal nilpotent element. In general, uh, dissolve the cuts who used result of uh, Dan Dandria, uh, De Concini, Desol, Elgani, and cuts. So we have a very nice. Uh, picture. So, from starting from affine, from double algebra, which you haven't defined, you can obtain the Zeus algebra by taking. Uh, uh, you can obtain finite double algebra by taking uh, Zeus algebra. And if you take associate graded, you obtain, ah, sorry. Uh, this is a function on, 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 on the infinite jet scheme. A function on the jet scheme. Uh, of, uh, jet, yeah, yeah. And uh, if you take the C2 algebra, you get a function on the Schroeder slice. And if you take associate graded from finite double algebra, you also get <coughs> a function the uh, 
through the slice and you have this nice commutative uh, diagram. So, because there are many nilpotent elements, there are many, many uh, double algebras. But let me show some example before start before going to the definition. So when f equals to zero, uh, then uh, we consider uh, through the slice at zero to be just g, uh, which identify with g star as Poisson. Uh, variety, and the corresponding uh, double algebra is nothing but the uh, universal affine vertex algebra, uh, which appeared many times. U G hat, U G T plus C K, C K. Here uh, K acts as k times identity and gt acts as zero. And uh, so this is universal sir, affine uh, vertex algebra. As uh, uh, I forgot to say, g hat is the, of course, affine Katsumudi algebra. And because uh, representation of this vertex algebra is the same as the representation of the hat module, uh, we can say that the uh, double algebra contains uh, affine Katsumudi algebra uh, in, in, a special, in this special case. Now let's consider the case when SG equals to SL, SL2 and take F to be the usual F of SL2. Then uh, centralizer of F is just spanned by F. It's this, so this is one dimensional. So double algebra is uh, generated by uh, one, one element. And uh, so it, because it's conformal, uh, for, for, for if it's not critical, then it must be isomorphic to a quotient of Virasoro algebra. But in, in, in fact, uh, this double algebra is isomorphic to uh, the uh, Virasoro vertex algebra, which I denote by Vir. Uh, CK, uh, Virasoro, universal Virasoro uh, vertex algebra uh, at center charge 1 minus 6 K plus 1 uh, square over K plus 2. If K is not minus 2, which is a critical level of um, SL2, and as Andrea uh, explained, for critical level, you g we get function of, of, of on OPA of PSL2 O. I mean, a disk, sorry, uh, at K equals to minus 2. So, uh, of the uh, case of, in the case of SL2, we get some fundamental. Uh, Sorry. Can you write again what is hmm? uh, uh, If you don't understand, you can just forget. It's just a commuta commutative uh, vertex algebra with extra structure.
Next non-trivial example will be the SL3 case. So, so there are two possibilities uh, for uh, non-zero conjugacy class of nilpotent elements. So let's take F to be the uh, low, lowest, lowest root vector, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then um, you can take SL2 triple to be, so E to be the uh, highest root vector, and H is 1, 0, minus 1. And if you consider uh, decomposition with respect to the action of other H, we get this kind of decomposition, where uh, G1 is spanned by E equals E theta, and this is spanned by F theta, and this is spanned by E1, E2. So E1 is a simple root corresponding to to, to, to this L3, and this is F1 and F2, and this is uh, nothing but the Carlton subalgebra. And from this, you, you easily find a centralizer of F is, so this is G0F. So F, uh, sends G, J to GJ minus one. So anything which sits inside G minus one is killed by F. So this is the same as G minus one, which is spanned by F theta. For the same reason, this is the same as G minus half, which is F1, F2. And this is spanned uh, by uh, element uh, which commutes with F, so it is H1 minus H2, I think. So, <coughs> centralizer of F is four dimensional in this case. So, the basis we have H1 minus H2, and F1, F2, and, and F0. And this has conformal weight one, and this has conformal weight three over two, and this has conformal weight two. And uh, so there exists a, some gen strong generator uh, corresponding to this uh, uh, basis. So let me write J for the basis correspond the generator corresponding to H1 minus H2, and G plus minus for this uh, three over two conformal weight vectors, and this for S. And then uh, I'd like to explain the structure of these double algebras. Oh, but let me uh, say that the uh, conformal vector is usually sitting weight two. So this corresponds to conformal vector. And uh, in fact, uh, I'm, I have normalized that the if you divide by k plus three, this is uh, the conformal vector. Conformal vector. So, to describe a uh, structure of double algebra, it's better to describe the easiest setting. So let's let me describe the uh, Poisson structure. Poisson structure. Structure of this ring, this Poisson algebra, which is a, a slow slice associated to this highest root vector. So this is very easy to describe. So this generator, corresp so let me discuss right bar to denote the image in the sheets algebra. 
So this belongs to the center, Poisson center of this this is algebra. So it's Poisson commutes with everything. And uh, the image of J acts diagonally, so this is plus minus G plus minus. And uh, uh, G plus, the Poisson bracket of G plus and G minus looks as follows. Um, this is been, also, of course, it depends on the normalization, but uh, three, three times J bar square uh, minus S bar. So this is a first one structure of the sheet algebra. And what we get as a, as a lambda bracket for the double algebra is something that quantizes this Poisson bracket. I don't write everything, but I just write the most non-trivial one. So lambda bracket between G plus and G minus uh, looks as follows. So of course it quantizes the Poisson structure, so, so its leading term should be something like this. All right? So this corresponds to the Poisson bracket of J plus and J minus. But there are, of course, some, some tails. So tails looks like this. Uh, J uh, plus 3 K plus 1 lambda uh, J plus K plus 1. You don't have to remember at all. I just want to show you example, that's all. And uh, so there are some other lambda bracket. And you see from this example that the as a Poisson level, we get this uh, quadratic term. So this quadratic term. Really? Ah. Hmm? Ah, no, no, sorry. Oh, you're right. So. So we have this, this quadratic term. So, so op lambda bracket is not closed among uh, generators as in the case of uh, vertex affine d algebra. So this means that the uh, W algebra is, is not is not a real algebra, but really a vertex algebra. So you cannot, in other words, it's not generated by, by the algebra. So as you can imagine, uh, as, as the uh, dimension of uh, this orbit of F increase, the Poisson structure of uh, Schroeder stress gets more uh, complicated. You get uh, uh, many, many uh, nonlinear terms. And accordingly, uh, double algebra uh, is, it get, gets more and more complicated. So uh, we don't really know uh, the uh, OPE between uh, double algebras still. We know where uh, generators are, but there's no closed formula for the uh, lambda bracket for the uh, double algebra in there. And uh, this, dub, uh, this the particular double algebra is called uh, uh, Varshadsky Polyakov algebra. So you get uh, many, many uh, algebra or vertex algebra considered in physic, physic, physics literature as, as double algebras. And uh, 
another for the another nilpotent element uh, for we can I can take uh, uh, in this form this is so this is a principal nilpotent element. Then uh, uh, E will be E1 plus E2, and H will be H1 plus H2. So the decomposition for this one looks as follows, where G0 is, is Kaltan, and G1 is spanned by F1 and F2, and G minus 2 is spanned by F theta. And for the centralizer, uh, this is spanned by F theta, which has conformal weight 2, a 3, and F1 plus F2, which is F. So this is generated by uh, uh, two, two generators. And of course, uh, generator corresponding to F has conformal weight 2 and uh, if that weight uh, generator correspond to uh, uh, if theta has conformal weight 3 so this gives uh, conformal vector for non-critical level conformal vector And uh, in this case, um, Poisson algebra, the sheets of Poisson algebra, has in fact uh, a trivial Poisson structure. So Poisson bracket is zero everywhere. However, uh, this uh, lambda bra bracket is, is very complicated. Complicated. With, again, quadratic term. Qu -qu quadratic term. So even if uh, um, Poisson in the bottom, it has, it has a trivial Poisson structure. Uh, the, the double algebra itself is highly non-trivial, except for, for the critical level. And this, this double algebra is called the Amorajkov's double algebra. Uh, although I didn't really write the uh, lambda bracket. OK, so, so I haven't really stated anything, but any question? So if not, let me start uh, definition of um, double algebra. But before giving definition of uh, double algebra, so I want to start with the uh, uh, simplest setting. So, of course, the simplest setting is the Zuzitz algebra. So I first describe Poisson a structure of uh, Schroeder slice, which is supposed to be Zuzitz algebra or double algebra, and explain how to quantize this uh, Poisson structure. So, a claim uh, is that the uh, Schroeder slice is obtained uh, f uh, by a Hamiltonian reduction.
from the certain uh, Poisson uh, variety. So this makes uh, sort of the threads, uh, so this gives a structure of the, uh, of the Poisson structure. So this is um, first uh, shown by constant in the case of regular nilpotent element. And this was generalized by Lynch. And then uh, in the most general setting, it was shown by Gang and Ginzburg. Uh, but before Primet described uh, Poisson structure in slightly different way. And, but uh, I'm, what I'm going to talk, explain today is the uh, construction due to cuts Rouen and Wakimoto. Uh, which is suitable for uh, quantizing to the vertex algebra setting. So, <coughs> so what we want to do So in general, if you have a, a Poisson manifold, which admits Hamiltonian action of a uh, Lie group, we have a, a momentum up from X to the Lie algebra of G which need, need to be uh, uh, equivalent if G is connected. So if you consider uh, uh, zero, which is uh, fixed by G action, then the uh, uh, pre-image of zero uh, is uh, stable under the action of, of G. And this is called level set. And then, uh, in, if <coughs> in nice cases, this quotient space becomes a Poisson manifold so under some conditions. And this Poisson manifold is called the reduced, reduced uh, Poisson manifold. So obviously, uh, this Poisson uh, dimension of this manifold is smaller than dimension of Poisson manifold. But uh, structure of a Poisson, a Poisson structure uh, uh, can become quite uh, complicated even if you start with a, a quite simple Poisson manifold. So we want to apply uh, this construction uh, to our setting. So for our case, so uh, G is a simple Lie algebra. And uh, uh, G may be, G is a joint group of G. And uh, maybe I fix identification with G star by fixing uh, inner product. So I fix uh, uh, this to be the normalized uh, inner product, which is 1 over 2A check, the killing form. And this is a GG equivariant isomorphism. And uh, we have a grading of G with respect to the add H, as I already explained. 
And I take a, a positive part of this uh, grading. I only take positive part. So this is, is a, a near potent subalgebra. And uh, I consider corresponding uh, unipotent group. And which naturally acts on G star. And uh, I take the uh, manifold that I start with to be product of G star and time certain orbit of this uh, group where uh, Okai is an um, orbit, quadrant orbit of Kai, where Kai is an element which send element of G positive to a minus of F X. And because uh, G positive is unipotent, this is a closed orbit in, in G star. And what is this orbit? Ah, yeah. So, so what is this orbit? So, so first thing we notice is a stabilizer of this chi in G positive is the group corresponding to the subalgebra. G, uh, how do I say, uh, equal greater than one, where, of course, this is the sub-algebra corresponding to uh, uh, this one. So this is the sub-algebra of G. So this means that the uh, quadrant orbit is isomorphic to G positive minus uh, divided by this uh, group, subgroup. And in fact, uh, it's easy to describe this orbit. So this is just a chi plus G half star, which is ident I identify the uh, minus F plus G minus one, which sits inside G star. So, so maybe I should give proof which is easy. So it's enough to show a stabilizer, stabilizer in the Lie algebra, stabilizer of chi in G, G positive is uh, G equal greater than one, but if you take element from G 
active, if you consider coadjoint action, this is by definition chi of minus x y, which equals to f and x y. And because this is element of g minus 1, in order to this element to be non-zero, uh, this has to be in g1. But then, so, so this must be, this is a zero unless both of x, y have grading half. So otherwise, uh, uh, grading of this one becomes greater than one. Right? And also, so if you look at this half, G half space, we have the, this map is a non-degenerate. Non, non and also a, a skew How to say? Uh, so I want to say so. This is symplectic. Symplectic. So if you change x and y, it has minus sign. So so this means that the, uh, if you let uh, find x to be element of uh, g half, I always find element y, which makes this non-zero. So this means that the, this means that the uh, a stabilizer, stabilizer, stabilizer of chi in G positive is G equal greater than one. Okay, so we have uh, orbit, and it's known that the quadrant orbit has sympletic variety, has sympletic structure. Uh, that is uh, explained by Michael last Friday. So this is kill of constant. Uh, surreal Poisson structure. And Poisson structure of this quadron orbit is actually very easy to describe. So we can identify this uh, function on this orbit with uh, a symmetric uh, function, function on G half star by this uh, uh, description, right? just a fine space, which I can identify with symmetric algebra of G half. And if you take element from G half, Then uh, Poisson structure, Poisson bracket, it's just chi of x, y. And because chi was sympathetic form on G half, so this means that this is just uh, isomorphic to sympathetic vector space. So, so this orbit is uh, isomorphic to a sympathetic vector space of a dimension G half. Now, 
Now, uh, of course, we have an action on this orbit, which is Hamiltonian. And the uh, uh, momentum map for this action is just a natural embedding. I wrote a mu2. I forgot to say what is mu1. Uh, and also, <coughs> uh, the natural action on uh, G, positive uh, G star, is Hamiltonian. And the corresponding moment map is a map from G star to the real algebra of G, which is G positive star. So this is just a restriction. So this is moment map. So if you consider a product of this for some varieties, the corresponding, so let, we let act G positive diagonally. Uh, then this is Hamiltonian because each of the action is Hamiltonian. And the corresponding moment map Okay to G positive is described as lambda one, lambda two plus two uh, mu one lambda plus plus mu two lambda. But because mu two lambda uh, sorry, lambda two and because this was just embedding, so this is just lambda two. So this is our momentum map. Uh, I'm desc describing a uh, Poisson bracket. Right. So this is a, a standard Poisson structure on the sympathetic. Yeah, yeah, but if, if you compute Poisson bracket, you, 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 get, you get this kind of Poisson bracket. So what is then a uh, level set? Um, so we are interested in uh, this subset of G star times okay and if you write this is just a, a pair of elements in g star times okay which goes to which satisfy uh, this relation right by definition but then uh, this lambda 2 is is totally determined by lambda 1. So this is isomorphic to subset of G star, which goes to minus of this orbit. And minus of this orbit is orbit of minus chi, right? So this is the same as image of a uh, play image of O of minus chi. And this is uh, uh, nothing but the uh, minus chi plus g 
half star, which is mu of f plus g minus half. So the pre-image is isomorphic to mu of f plus g equal greater than minus half. Right? Um, this is isomorphism as uh, g positive varieties. Something not clear? So this is a, a subset of Gista. And here comes the theorem of Gang and Ginsburg. Ah, forgot to say, uh, this contains Srodoy stress, or rather image of Srodoy stress by the I identification. Something wrong. Um, so the theorem says uh, we have, so we have, a, if you consider action, so because Schroeder slice is contained in F plus G minus half. We have a action, uh, uh, action mat from here to here. So this is just uh, add of G of S. And the statement is that this is isomorphism of affine varieties. So we can we conclude. So because this is isomorphism and the G positive varieties, we get that the uh, this product, rather, or rather, uh, new SF. So this there's isomorphism between uh, this and uh, a level set. As, as G positive varieties. So, so uh, through this slice is isomorphic to the quotient space of this uh, level of spe spe ah, So this uh, means that the uh, G positive acts freely on the uh, level set. And if you divide by the action of the group, you get uh, uh, through this race. And this uh, inherits, inherits Poisson uh, structure from uh, G star times this orbit. 
So how, how does it describe, Descri how we can describe? So, uh, so maybe I should describe for some brackets. So first for this level set is a quotient of function on g star times okay by certain idea which is the same as tensor product of this one and I is ideal generated by mu1 star x plus nu2 uh, tens. <coughs> this is mu star x, where x is an element of g positive, where mu star is a co-moment map. And this is mu1 x tensor 1 plus 1 tensor mu2 star x and uh, uh, mu1 x is just x tensor 1. So this is a, a defining idea of this uh, level set. Then uh, function on the uh, quotient space is the G positive invariant function on this level set. So for this is represented, represented by some element. Uh, do I write? So if, if uh, maybe we said F and G, where F is uh, some element uh, so F is an element of uh, C of G star, and G is an element of so because uh, F and G is an element on this level set in particular, F can be written like this, F and G can be written like this. And uh, the condition that the, uh, it's invariant on the action of a group, uh, we can also write in terms of a group, but it's the same as invariant function with respect to the uh, group, the algebra action. So the statement that this is a G invariant function is that if you take Poisson uh, bracket, this belongs to I for all element of G positive and the same for G. Right. And then uh, a Poisson uh, bracket of F and G is just Poisson bracket of F and G mod this idea. So because F and G, ah, sorry, oh, I forgot to say, uh, times, forgot to add orbit. So th because this is a Poisson algebra, so we can, Poisson bracket is defined upstairs. And the claim is that this defines a well-defined Poisson structure on this uh, sub-quotient 
of this uh, uh, Poisson algebra, and which can be checked directly from this, this description. So I have 25 minutes. Any questions? OK, so now let me explain uh, that there, there is an obvious jet analog of this construction. For arc space, jet scheme, for arc space analog. So before going to uh, vertex algebra, let me describe this. So we consider the uh, momentum up from g star times o chi to the g positive star. Ah, so maybe I take m to be some non-negative integer over uh, infinity. Then unexplained because we get the, uh, because take, take functor of, uh, uh, taking jet scheme is, is functorial. Uh, we have a morphism from Jm of G star times Okai to Jm of G star, which is induced by this morphism. And because, uh, as I explained, uh, this JM functor commutes with Cartesian product. So this is just GM G star times JM O chi. Now, what is a uh, 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 jet scheme of this uh, orbit? So this can be either identified with, with orbit, Jm, G positive orbit of chi, where chi is identified with JM chi, because jet scheme of point is, is point, so we can identify chi and JM chi. And, and uh, so this action, this action induces the action of like this, or uh, we can identify with chi plus Jm of G half star, which is which is contained in Jm of G positive star. Now, uh, so nice thing about jet scheme is, as I explained, it's commute with Cartesian product. So, Gang and Ginzburg theorem is 
stage which states the isomorphism between this affine space immediately lift to the setting of uh, jet jets. It's Jm G positive times Jm is if it's isomorphic to Jm of mu in plus zero. And this one can be, it's easy to see, identified with zero. So, we also obtain similar isomorphism of the level of uh, jets. For free. So now <coughs> let, that, let us consider the case when M equals infinity, then uh, as Ang explained, uh, this one and so maybe so recall so if x is a Poisson affine Poisson scheme then there exists a unique Poisson vertex algebra structure on the function on the jets, infinite jets of x, such that uh, its lambda bracket is the same as Poisson bra bracket for element of Cx, which contained in C infinity x. So you have this kind of statement. So infinite jets of g star times o chi and infinite jets of Schroeder slice both have a vertex Poisson algebra structure. And what you can get, what you can check is the following uh, statement. So, so proposition is that the, this invariant polynomial which uh, inherits a Poisson vertex algebra structure from function on uh, G star uh, at arc space of G cross O chi by this isomorphism as I explained in the setting of Poisson algebra. And coincides with that of Poisson structure on the uh, arc space of Schroeder slice and uh, the isomorphism
So this is actually quite easy to check because of this uniqueness statement. So the Poisson structure, if Poisson structure agrees on the classical functions, then it agrees. And the fact it agrees is, of course, by definition, the top part is just a usual Hamiltonian reduction, as I explained. So this tells us, <coughs> as soon as we have as soon as uh, we have a nice Hamiltonian reduction in the uh, Poisson setting, we can immediately lift to the setting of uh, uh, Poisson vertex algebra. So now, now I want to uh, quantize you know, this uh, construction to define uh, double algebra. Because, <coughs> so this is done by BRST construction. By uh, BRST. So let me, I don't have time to explain uh, the uh, construction uh, today. So let me uh, explain the, 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 what, what we want to do next. So we have seen <coughs> that the, from this product of Poisson varieties, which is Hamilton, uh, which is, which equip to with a moment map to G positive star. Uh, we have shown that the Ham by Hamiltonian reduction, we, we obtain reduced Poisson uh, variety, which is uh, through this slicative. And uh, the way uh, we obtain is the following. So we first consider uh, the level set. So how do I say? So, so this uh, Hamiltonian reduction identifies the function that's Rodo is as uh, the G invariant function on on the level set, and this is this can be written in terms of uh, Lie algebra cohomology. So this is nothing but the H zero of Lie algebra cohomology with, with respect to uh, the G positive action. And how about uh, this coefficient? So this was quotient of C of uh, G star times O chi by ideal, where ideal was generated by uh, maybe I. this kind of element where x is the element of g positive. So this is a quotient space. And uh, as Raimondo explained, uh, this is uh, H0 of Kosuzuru homology. So this is H0 of Kosuzuru homology. Uh, this is a Kosuzuru 
zeroth cos zu homology uh, with respect to uh, uh, sequence uh, xi tensor 1 plus 1 tensor mu 2 star xi, where xi is a basis of uh, g positive. But this Kosuzuru homology is also can be understood as Raymond explained. Li algebra homology of G positive, where G positive is viewed as a commutative Li algebra. And uh, this acts as multiplication by this element. on this space. So we conclude that the uh, we conclude that the uh, function on the Schroeder slice can be obtained by first taking the algebra homology and then take the algebra cohomology. So we cannot really express the uh, procedure of Hamilton reduction by a single D algebra homology or cohomology. Uh, it's a mix. First, we take uh, D algebra homology and then take D algebra cohomology. But in fact, you can uh, use a certain uh, homolo homology theory called BRST cohomology. So this is Kostan and Stamberg. Uh, in 80s, that the, uh, this can be obtained at one time as uh, the Rosco homology of uh, BRS, uh, cohomologies called BRST cohomology. So BRST cohomology is somewhat mixture of the algebra homology and cohomology, which makes uh, H0 as, as this one in this special case. And what is nice about BRST construction for us is that the, if you use BRST formalities, it's immediate to upgrade this construction to the vertex algebra. And uh, so I stop here for today and I explain how, I, how we do, do this BRST construction uh, next time. If you compute, you understand. Okay. It's your exercise.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, so I'm going to explain that the uh, this cocom this. Um, so this looks like. Uh, uh, how do you say? So, from this complex, so this complex looks like a double complex. And, uh, and uh, if you take, so if you have a double complex, you have a natural spectral sequence. And, uh, so, and the natural spectral sequence gives this as E2. Uh, 